today in this tutorial I will teach you how to make a search bar and a button in this action bar okay so let's get started first of all you have to go to layout I have created already created our project and I am not going to uh, start with scratch so I am going from here uh, go to layout new and layout resource file <coughs> I will give it a name action bar okay let's name it custom action bar okay oops okay go to refactor it's taking a lot of time so click on rename and change your name custom okay guys now go to text and first of all we have to change its orientation to horizontal because we need both elements to in parallel or in we need both elements in parallel so first of all we have to make an edit text okay which should be according to the wrap content and now we have to make height to uh, wrap content okay now i will assign it an id because i have to use it further for fetching data and id should be okay. get url okay now here now i will also create an image button image button okay wrap content and wrap content and then i will now uh, image button means we have to show an image instead of any button so first of all i have to go click on drawable click next then go to vector assist and then double click on the icon okay guys this is the go button and click on this whatever you want you can choose from here but for now i will choose it okay click ok change this icon or flower name to this click next now click finish you should not click on cancel it will cancel the operation okay guys you can see that my icon is here and i have to show it over here so android background to okay drivable ic icon forward okay you can see here it comes and okay go to design and you can see here uh, actually a dictates height and width width should be according to wrap content now you can see that only you can see here is arrow but no text field uh, sorry yes text field so I have to assign a property that is Android layout weight to 5 and Android layout weight to 1. Okay. Now you can see this this is the input text field and this is the button actually what i have done is here i assigned them the weight that means you can assign any 
you you are just writing here the proportion that if the screen is total six then five blocks will be taken by date text and one block will be taken by image button and also there is uh, if you can change it you can write it seven and one whatever you want okay you can see there is no effect of this it's just you are uh, telling the android studio that the weightage is seven means seven blocks should be assigned to this and one block should be assigned to image button okay uh, now what we what we have to do is our layout is ready now we have to go to our main activity and in this function we have to create uh, we have to add the uh, custom action bar so first of all i will uh, okay uh, call the get sport action bar dot set custom display option okay and then here i will uh, make an action bar object class dot Hmm. Action, action bar dot display show custom okay then get sport action bar dot set custom set custom view and here I will pass the path of that uh, r dot id dot custom set custom okay then we have to do that it's in resources it is layout it is in fun uh, layout and then its id then its name is custom oops what is doing set custom yeah. okay get sport action bar dot set custom view r dot layout dot activity and custom so there is no need of id this was my mistake and now i will run it and you can see that <coughs> sorry guys now we have to wait for cradle to run and build and it may take three to four minutes or soon it's depend upon magic right sometimes it, it takes seconds and sometimes it takes four to five minutes and I don't know the reason why it is so much slow and literally I think there's teach the person ok guys here is our text field and this is our uh, arrow and uh, if this is just if we want to align it at the center so I have to go to custom action go to text and then I have to make it its height to match parent ok now we have to wait again oh okay guys you are seeing that it's look pretty now so this is this was the short tutorial how to 
make an custom action bar in android studio uh, and in an application so i will repeat the step first of first of all create and layout uh, and then you have to do this coding and then you have to change its orientation then you have to create an edit text then image button and then go to your main activity dot java and you have to write these two lines and this is your layout name a example file name in layout that you are referring to so uh, these are the simple steps how to create a custom action bar with search bar and uh, go button thank you so much if you like our video please like or please give us feedback in comments thank you so much bye bye